Hi beautifuls, welcome back to Yildiz Readings 5D. For those of you that don't know, I'm a psychic medium, twin flame coach. I cover astrology, moon energy, and personal development. If you do want to come join us in the members hub, we have private twin flame questions in there. No super chat required. And yes, monthly I come to you live. And during those sessions, you're able to ask quick super chat questions. Now for this video, we're going to tune into your psychic energy, connecting into your love interest any blockages or the unexpected that can come up so please stay tuned because this two weeks is set to be very very interesting and pivotal love and light guys let's get into the energy hi sage welcome back we're here to do a check-in for your energy for the third week of april we do weekly updates we also have twin flame lives every friday Western Australian time and I do put information up in the community tab as to the timing of it and I do try and alternate and at times I do come to you on Mondays also really when the energy is fluid I'll come to you additionally so we're going to have a look at your energy um, for your zodiac sign and the cards now I have pulled the cards and I'm kind of saying both astrologically and through the tarot and the oracle plus the chakra that You've got this um, transformation and health is going to come up big time for you guys this month and there's going to be benefits and transformations. We do have a lot of aspects happening to Uranus and Taurus and this is really pushing that momentum forward as well as trying to get the balance and I, I see that all of you are trying to work very hard on your foundation and you're, you're, you're looking at cycles so there's new things coming in, having to keep your diet really healthy, having to get to a point that um, you're keeping balanced and I, I feel it's really taking a little bit of a toll so let's have a look at why uh, I'm going to look at your chart because even even from a psychological point of view you're second guessing yourself and I'm going to have a look at why but we'll, we'll get into your reading then I'll have a look at your chart so there appears to be some loss and doubt and that might be because there's things shifting you might be second guessing yourself again when we're tired it makes perfect sense sometimes we're not seeing the hay for the clouds but I feel overall all these changes that you're making um, are gonna take you to that healthy place and fives are all about change and you are in that vibration of five and it is um, you know emotionally trying to get things into balance after that full moon in Libra then we move to that um, you know the new moon in Aries and now we're moving towards the scorpionic season your know, scorpionic energy rather the full moon in Scorpio so that's all to do with very much collective energy eighth house it's birth death endings it's um, deep intimacy how are those things going to be and we're really in the thick of it now because we do have Mars and Cancer so for your chart Mars and Cancer will link to the eighth house so that potentially is coming to terms with okay is something not working correctly um, does it mean a permanent ending? Not necessarily. Is it something that we learned? Is there something we can move around? Um, so don't second guess yourself. It's not. It's not a curse. It's not a terrible. It can be a terrible thing that you're going through. But over, I, I think it's more psychologically because you've been working hard. It's sort of like the analogy I use on YouTube. Well, you've been really good, so where's that ice cream at? It's like a parent telling you, hey, you know, you've done really good, and if you behave, you get a gift at the end of it. And there are going to be gifts and blessings. I feel more from an intuitive level. Some of you could be thinking, hey, you know, all this work I've been doing, is have I been working towards my hopes and dreams? Is this all I've been working for? Um, which is self-worth energy, right? So I feel you're really having to, from the past to where you are, you, you had to take a leap of faith. You had to move forward. There were some circumstances you moved around in your life. When it does come to work, you will find that there's going to be growth and benefits. When it does come to your connections, you're going to feel the pressure easing off. It can be a bit of a testing time, but things will get back into balance by about the first week of May. However, we're looking at the current energy. Just be in mindfulness that with your marriages, contracts, partnerships, the people you're connecting to, there could be angst and a bit of frustration. Uh, there also may be that um, if you're in a joint connection, you may be the main breadwinner, especially with that eighth house. And you could be articulating how that's making you feel. For those of you that are single, um, again, you're ushering that energy in. You're looking at a reciprocal give and take. You're attracting that into your life. 
Um, and this can be with soul connections as well. You do have a contract coming up here that you're looking at and, and it can be where you're maybe a little bit disappointed, maybe um, feeling as though uh, you need to have that communication sense, but you're pouring a lot of love and energy into circumstances and you have that within you to give. I do feel, however, there can be this, you know, really looking at, okay, what's that map moving forward? How can you change things about, is this all, um, you know, that, you, that you've been doing to get all these beautiful benefits? But I feel, if anything, most of you are kind of pausing. There seems to be a little bit of a pause in reflection. And again, when Mars was in Gemini, it might have been heating up that sector with your work, heating up that sector relating to love and maybe, you know, trying to balance those things out between where you're giving your time to. And for those of you that are single, it's a similar energy. It's very much, you know, the give and take, meditating upon the past, looking at how you can move forward. And I see at the moment, it's almost like you, you're feeling, you know, all work and no play makes for a dull day. <sighs> now the foundation of that. I feel you're slowing things down, but it's not that things are slowing down. I feel it's almost like I'm seeing a projector and I'm seeing memories. I'm seeing um, thought processes, you know, mustering through these energies and looking at, you know, was there something you missed? Was there something that you haven't seen? Did you jump in uh, where angels fear to tread? Is, is this the dream? Is it stable? What do you need to do to shift it around? Be careful of the expenses this week, I would say. Um, with Mars transiting into the eighth house, you can be really tidying up your paperwork, getting things in order, maybe having brand new contracts coming in, especially as we do have Pluto going retrograde to have that energy coming through. I'm also feeling you're going to have the strength and it's really um, giving you, and it's good that the um, base chakra is in the upright and it can be brand new beginnings. So some of your worries, you know, it's almost like just before you think it's all over um, and you've come to terms with that of what was the past, it's like brand new is coming in. And I'm saying this to be a very positive thing. So this moving forward, maybe having to have made a decision, um, you know, trying to get that balance due to things that weren't going so great. Uh, you know, looking at it, this can be moving towards new connections, trying to repair a connection. Um, also with your work, the same situation. I do feel you're looking at value systems and both, you know, both polarities can be coming up. And especially because as I mentioned previously, when you, tr when you go through an emotional change, and especially for you, Sagittarius, the way your astrology is placed at the moment for you spiritually and psychically tuning in, initially we can take things quite personal and think, you know, um, have I got it wrong? Why is this not flowing so well? You're really developing quite a bit because you have the south node in your zodiac sign. Also, because we do have Juno going retrograde, there's deep reflection through your zodiac sign. So it's perfectly natural that you're going through this embodiment energy. I do see a lot of the shifts about and the energy you're pouring into your life and the circumstances that you're tackling is really going to, you know, be your saving grace because between now and August, I do see major transitions for you, but it's not that no movement's happening now. From an ego point of view, you might be feeling everything's doom and gloom, but from a 3D, it's showing something brand new is coming in, uh, you know, to really push this forward where you're going to see that leap of faith is going to be worth it. For some of you, there may be a call from a person to take a leap of faith. You might be working through those things and you can find you're in a better um, energy to be able to do that, having had Mars move out of your Venus house. So you'll find there's less tension there. Uh, not to say there would have been, you know, a lot of tension. There could have been a lot of intimacy energy coming up, sacral chakra, etc. But this is really a renewal in, in your life. So a lot of what is coming towards you, if you're going through a very hard time and you're feeling, you know, everyone wins apart from me, try and realize that, have faith because the best is yet to come. There could be subjects relating to who's doing what. Uh, this can also be temptation energy, uh, especially if you find a situation is stifling and it's becoming a little bit complicated. I'm telling you, you've been very patient, Sarge. You've been very, very patient. 
What is this full cart, please? What is this about? Okay, this can be to do with a person. It can be to do with male energy. It also can be you within your working life. I also see very similar dropping burdens, like coming to terms with things, understanding, accepting where things stand, uh, you know, in order to have that forward momentum. It's like a soul walking. Okay. Right. I think... Okay, some of you might have had to move jobs around. Some of you, you know, again, one person working, another not. This can be in a work related domain. Some of you might be running your own business and there's a lot of, um, you know, you having to just cut out, you having to manage things, you having to do a lot of things. I do feel that's shifting about. Some of you are on the fence, like almost thinking, gosh, you know, I was running my business the right thing to do. Some of you could be working for somebody else and the energy can swap. But overall, you're trying to get life in balance. You know that life is, you know, some of these goals, uh, there might be a restriction on money to be able to achieve some of these things. But I do feel the baby steps you take, this money and innovation and the way you're applying yourself to it is really going to come through. Again, some of you, it's more uh, by managing this, trying to manage home and work has been a little bit complicated. Um, and I do see expansion happening there, especially for those of you that are having home-based businesses. Uh, for some of you are missing connections. Um, this can be a physical romantic connection. And it can be, um, you know, missing a person that maybe took a while to understand something. Uh, some of you also can be um, hearing news through the grapevine. This can be gossip as well. And I don't know why, God, probably the end of, you know, Mars and Gemini. That's where the gossip energy was coming through. Uh, you know, looking, having issues for those of you that are having kids, you know, trying to discipline them, energy being a bit rampant with Mars and Gemini. It was causing some of those dynamics, uh, you know, and, and trying to teach right from wrong. That might have been for those of you who it's relevant, you know, a little bit complicated. Now, nobody is going to take from you what you've worked for, okay? Trust that. People will see your worth. People are going to see what you're made of. And Please trust in the process because I feel, if anything, um, you know, don't give anybody attention that isn't deserving of it because it's almost like, you know, maybe they don't understand where you're coming from and it might be the art of communication. I'm going to pull a chakra card because I do feel some of these things to do with the adversity you've endured. Uh, you might be dealing with Leo. This is, you know, very sun energy. It's viewpoints. It's values. They may not understand, you know, what you're going through. This can be a family and a home related dynamic. It's also to do with your foundation, point blank, zero strength, you know. So if they're not understanding, Mars is transiting at the moment through your eighth house. But because this is zodiac sign cancer, um, it can be, you know, trying to spread yourself, being there for people, try, you know, trying to be everything to everyone. And that can be a little bit testing and complicated. I do feel these things are going to um, balance out. Some of you, it could be that, you know, you've really had to leave a situation coming to terms with it. This could be a romantic interest or a job. I am seeing, however, the best is yet to come. And if this person hasn't valued you, I do feel karmically they're going to understand and it is shifting. What is this um, Six of Wands? Let's see what the Six of Wands energy is. Uh, most of it, I do feel you got these amazing ideas. And I do feel Poker Face is really going to serve you. So if you do need to get to a point you're keeping your cards close to your chest and you're not telling people, especially if they're... Um, shady individuals and they can be people that are really close to you please trust your instincts because these people can be really trying to pinch your ideas it could be a work colleague and somebody who's coming across as very um, you know mature very mature but what they're trying to do is the laziness can be these individuals where they're not understanding how much energy it goes into it they're not willing to do the work themselves don't don't own it so to speak 
I feel, if anything, you're pulling this ship together and you're the one who's going to get the rewards point blank zero. And this can be when you're attracting love as well. So don't worry, shine bright like a diamond. We will get into this energy in the extension to see how your romantic interest is seeing you, um, who this shady individual is over here and what other things are hidden. If you do care to join us, you can come through to the member zone. Otherwise, I will see you next week for the energy update, as well as all the other additional content I have coming up, which is astrology, moon energy, coaching sessions and more. Love and light, guys. Bye. Thanks for joining us. If you do want the extension read, it is in the link directly below in the box. Also, all the booking information is there. Please subscribe if you do want to have current updates relating to astrology, moon energy, twin flame path. I do have super chats, so if you do feel you can't afford a reading, you can jump through and have a question during the sessions, as well as if you haven't joined my uh, website, please do, because I do put up notifications relating to when I'm coming live, any events coming up and specials. Take care. I will see you later. Have a great week.